guys, it's Kevin Matthews, the dog chef, coming to you live from my own kitchen, working with a product that I love, Brutus Bone Broth. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make some awesome 4th of July snacks for your dogs with this awesome product. First up is a three-layer firecracker jello with blueberries, coconut, and strawberry. I'm going to show you guys how to make this step-by-step. -step. So this 4th of July is an unforgettable, remarkable holiday. Check this out. And so let's start with the first layer, which is a layer of blueberries in the bottom of the pan. And what I have here is fresh blueberries. And what you've got to do is literally just line the bottom like that. So there's really no space. You're going to have some space because these are different sizes. But, you know, you want to just cover the bottom of your pan, right? And so now what we've got to do is for the scientific part of this, we've got two, two pans here, one with no broth, broth at all and one with bruised bone broth in it. And the reason why we're doing this is because the middle white layer we want that to be as bright as possible. Bone broth is a little has a little brown tint to it, but it's not going to really affect the colors, but it will affect the white. So what I got to do now is the first step to making the gelatin. Each one of these broths is going to take packets of gelatin. So you have to dissolve it in the cold liquid first. So that's what we're going to do. So you have to add it like this to each one when the water is cold. Don't do this when the water is hot, it will never work. And then you have to stir it until it dissolves. Um, it may look a little clumpy, but after a while, it just it just dissolves. It's just completely good. And here's all the blue stone broth. This smells delicious. As I said before, we gotta bring all this up to boiling temperature. So once it gets to a boiling temperature, we're gonna turn it off and let it cool just for a little bit, not too much so it solidifies, but just so it doesn't burn the, uh, the, the plastic container that I'm pouring it in. The, the Brutus bone broth, however, needs to stay on simmer because we're using that for, for the bottom layer and the top layer. Looks like we're up to boiling now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull these off the heat and turn this one to low. And we're going to pour our first layer. Who's excited? We're about to do our first layer of this awesome firecracker joke. So I'm going to take this loose beef broth here, pour it on the bottom there, and I'm going to take this to the freezer. I'll be right back. Okay, so the first layer is ready. It's sat in the freezer for about 10 to 12 minutes, and so now we're ready for the white layer, which is one of my favorite things. Shaved coconut. It's so good. You're just going to sprinkle it over the top. This is about an, a cup and a half. And you want it to just fill, cover the top, fill it up. Until you see no blue layer. Okay. That's super important because this is kind of like a barrier. And this is probably one of the most important parts of this whole thing. Because if, if this isn't right, then it all will go. It all, it's all going to go separate. <laughs> no pun intended. It's just like that. I'm going to put this in the freezer after I pour the special broth for this one. Pour this right over top. Perfect. You want the layers to be even, but if it's a little off, dogs don't care. So we're gonna put this in the freezer for another 12 minutes, and then we're gonna come back for the grand finale of strawberry. Be right back. All right. So now we're ready for the last step. Delicious fresh strawberries. So what we do, is we're going to pour the strawberries on top of this beautiful white layer of coconut we have here. 
just like this. Clean them. Spread them out again so you're you're covering all the white layer with it. Yeah. So now I'm going to pour this broth over top. And that's it. So now we poured our broth over our strawberries and we're going to put this in the freezer for about 10 to 12 minutes. And when you're done, you can cut it into shapes or whatever you want to do with it. Cutting the little squares for your dogs to eat. So when it's done, it should look just like this. And it moves because it's yellow. So like I said, you can cut this into squares like normal, or you can cut little stars. Use a cookie cutter to do that. It's an awesome treat. Your dogs will go crazy for it. And if your dogs don't go crazy, which of course they will, you can probably slip this to the humans too, if you wanted to. Hey guys, it's Kevin Matthews of Dog Chef back again for the second part of this awesome 4th of July Jubilee. What we're going to do now is get started on these Brutus bone broth sliders, and we're going to start with these bun spurs, which is the most important part because that's what's holding a lot of the broth. So there's a couple key ingredients here. Um, first off, we're going to start with the incredible edible egg, and always start with a warm one when you're baking because you, you don't want the temperatures to, to fluctuate. We start here with this, and then we're gonna add our baking powder. We're gonna add a cup of this delicious smelling fruit spoon and butter. Stuff's amazing. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna whisk this together just so, you know, mix it in well. Nothing too fancy, doesn't even seem to be all the way, but you know, make it work out. And then we're gonna add three cups of chickpea flour. Great protein and fiber source. And so what we're gonna do now is just literally just mix everything together, and you'll see pretty soon it starts to take on a dough. Texture. Um, I want to set the pie dough first, and then what we're going to do, we're going to. We're almost ready to start hand mixing this, which is always the fun part, right? The key to this is to make sure that all of the moisture is absorbed so it's not it's not sticky anymore um similar to when you're making uh you know, any other kind of dough it's a dough whatever. you don't want to stick into your hands or anything like that what i'm doing is i got rolling it around the extra dough like that just to take the excess moisture out and then sort of I'll call this air kneading because I'm doing it in my hand. Uh, a little more heat. Have flour that's needed if you do need to. And then what you want to do is break off little, depending on the size of your dog. I've got seven dogs here. So they range in size from five pounds to 75 pounds. But this is about a good, a good size ball right here. And you're just going to roll it in your hand. And what's going to happen is the, the flour that was on it is going to seem to disappear like that. Right. And when you're at that point, you want to make sure that your top is smooth. Okay. Um, because however it looks here, it's going to bake and it's going to look the same. So if you have any cracks, it's going to show up. Okay. And so you take these. And it's about a good size, right? And then you want to drop it just like that, okay? Now, what I did by doing that is I made the bottom flat, okay? So it's similar to a bun that you buy in the store. 
And, you know, I'm sure that they don't sit in their house and do this. Um, but now you know how to make hamburger buns. And for the final step on this, before we put it in the oven, would be to give it a nice egg wash. And generally I'm gonna do this um, a few minutes after. Got my egg wash here. Just one egg, one tablespoon of water. And you're just gonna brush, just like that. And you'll see that even if you had some imperfections on top, it kind of like smooths it over. Covering up your mistakes a little bit. These are ready for the oven. So they can get a nice brown coating and get cooked up just right. So I'm going to put these in. And we're going to get started on the burgers themselves. They're actually sitting right over here. I've had them marinating. I've had a pound of ground beef marinating in bone broth for several hours. Um, you can use any kind of meat that you want. You can use uh, ground beef ground pork, ground chicken, and ground turkey, whatever your dog likes. Um, that's the name of the game here. But today we're using beef. So let me go grab this beef real quick. All right, guys, we're back. We've got our Brutus bone broth slider meat. And I just wanted to give a, a heads up. You can use, like I said, any meat you want. And you can also use any flavor of the bone broth that you want but you can mix them too. You don't just have to use beef with beef and chicken with chicken or pork with pork or chicken. You can mix however you want. So I am going to do these burgers in the quickest way. Like, like I said, these have been marinating in the bone broth. So they're literally going to be sauteing in the broth itself. And what you want to do, you've made burgers before, I'm sure, but if you haven't, you want to make little, Little balls like that. We just talked about this with the dough, right? It's similar, but you're not leaving it like this because we're not making spaghetti and meatballs. You're going to flatten. There you go. So when you do these, just going to go ahead and put them in here like so. And I'm just going to keep going because I'm actually kind of hungry and I might eat one of these myself. Um, I use the pork for this, I believe, and it smells very good. Okay, and so I made the biggest of the burgers a little big because I know they're going to shrink up. So, it almost looks like it's as big as a human burger, but it's going to shrink. So you're going to let these simmer about four to five minutes on each side. And then remove them from the heat when they seem to be about medium, depending on your dog's fancy palate. He may want rare. I don't know. Smells lovely. Like it's it now it's sauteing and it's broth. I can't imagine how, how happy these dogs are gonna be now. So we're gonna let this simmer a little bit longer. And we're moving from heat. And those buns should be ready in a couple minutes. Look at those. Take them out of here. Oh man, look at that. They're almost kinds of Um, I like to generally cut these when they're hot. Uh, I find that when they 
when they get cool, they harden up a little bit and then they flake off. But even if they flake off, it's okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut these like so. Go ahead and put these together. Now imagine your dog getting this plate versus the normal treats you gave him last year. I mean, this is amazing. I mean, I wish you could smell this. I mean, you can if you do this. <laughs> it's awesome. Final product, Bruce Foam Broth. I think I'm hungry. I could eat this myself. <laughs> Release the house!